Hello and welcome to White Horse Music TV! My name is Richard Bodina and I'm co-owner of this wonderful shop with my lovely wife Michelle Bodina who's at home at the moment, not here at work. Um, so today I am going to be showing Marco some violins and I love that he has asked for um, a Helmut Ilner D model violin. Check out this. So Helmut Ilner is a German maker. These are made in his German workshop. And check out the beautifulness of that wood on there. So that is a beautiful, beautiful, highly flamed maple back. And they're antiqued. I'll bring it even closer so you can see what it looks like. Antiqued so there's little ripples and scratches and things like that to make it look like it's a very old violin. So that is beautiful. That is Helmut Ilner D model. And they have a D and then they have a C and a B. And an A model is the top model that we can get. Um, and yeah, I think they really sit in their price range very nicely. This also does. This is called a Glieger Professional. Or well, actually, it's called on the label here, Glieger Vasil 2. And this is what I've always called Glieger Professional. Um, there's lots of... It's very difficult with the, the labeling of Glieger. I'm, I'm not sure what they're called sometimes. Um, so this is what you would call a dark antique Glieger. They have different colors of varnish. So this one is a little bit darker than some. There we go. And so that's made in the workshop of Vasil Glieger. They have Glieger three, then two, then one, and then this one. Vasil or professional, and then they have a superior and a maestro. The names get more impressive as you go up. So that one uses very high quality wood from the Carpathian Mountains. And um, yeah, is a very beautifully crisply made violin. Crisply made. Speaking of crisply made, these Regetti Master Series violins are just incredibly well made. They're more like they're, you see shiny violins, sometimes very cheap shiny violins that really have just had a, a lacquer thrown onto them. The Rigetti Master Series has had the varnish hand applied and then highly polished. That's very different. And they look beautiful and they sound beautiful. This particular Rigetti Master Series is called Rigetti Master Series 6.0 and it um, has double purfling there around the side because this is a Magini model of Rigetti Master Series. And on the back as well, two sets of, of lines. So where can we see it better? Just here. Two sets of lines. And they are inlaid pieces of wood to protect the inside of the violin. And Magini made some violins that had double purfling. And so they, when a Magini, Magini was a famous Italian maker. When he is copied by modern makers, often they have the two sets of lines around the outside there. Okay, and the last one here is an Andrea Sturz violin, which is a new one to us, and its varnish is reasonably similar looking to the Glieger Professional. Now I'll show you the Glieger Professional next to it. I mean, obviously the the Glieger Professional is darker because this is the dark antique version of the Glieger. Um, but it is a similar sheen. It's similarly um, matte finished. So, and that is not surprising because the Andrea Storz violins are also made in Romania. So you've got the, um, the Helmut Ilner is made in Germany. And then the um, Glieger Professional is made in Romania. The Rigetti Master Series is made in China and the Andrea Storz is made in Romania. So made all over the world, but I don't care where they're made. I just care that they sound good and that they're well made. Um, so let's have a bit of a play of these, speaking of sound. Okay, so this is the amazingly beautiful looking um, Helmut Ilner D model. is actually different to any Helmut Ilner D model violin that I've played before. 
It is not necessarily as deep down the bottom. It rings really nicely, but it doesn't have the depth that I necessarily associate with uh, Helmet Ilna violins. In, in fact, across all their models, they have a lot of nice depth. This one is not as deep as that. It's not, not for a violist or something like that, but it rings really nicely and it's quite powerful. So that is violin number one. All right, interesting. Oh, different. Now, uh, Liga Vasile 2, or professional, whatever you want to call it. Let's see. nice so the world is orbiting the way that it should that actually sounds like a Gliga professional I was worried that all of these violins were not going to sound like what they actually what their brands usually represent to me that sounded rich and deep and warm and you know the Gliga 3, 2 and 1 they often sound rich and deep and warm but not necessarily powerful this has some power to it as well so that's a really nice creature that's the Gliga professional all right, now, Rigetti Master Series. Oh, that's really crazy nice. It is as Rigetti Master Series usually are, but I reckon this is one of my favorite Rigetti Master Series that I've had. It's, it's got warmth, but it's got a lot of power and brightness and huge amounts of depth, and it's just really even and rings really nicely. That is a very tasty violin. All right, now the newcomer, the Andrea Storz violin. Let's give this one a try. It's got a nice tall chin rest at the moment for people with giraffe necks. Excellent. Mm, that's really nice as well. It has possibly like, you know, comparing it to the Galiga Professional, it possibly has slightly more ring, slightly more clarity in the, the middle. But it's not quite as warm, oh, or is it? Oh my gosh. I'll tell you what, I'm gonna play them all again. And this time I'm not gonna talk in between each one. You're gonna hear the differences. The f biggest difference that you're gonna hear is between that um, Helmet Ilna D model and the Galiga Professional. So listen out for that. Master Series. Doors violin. It's 
going to be a tough choice for Marco. You'll have to recommend down in the comments to, down below which one that he should get. I should mention that this one has different strings on it to the others. The others all have Parastro tonicas, which are what we usually put on those. I really love tonicas. And this one has Eva Parazzi strings because the Andrea Storrs violins are supplied with those strings from our supplier. So it does have different strings, but this is the way they come and this is the way I'll be selling it to Marco. So, you know, it's worth having the strings on that belong. Um, oh, the other thing I want to say about this um, Andrea Storrs violin, there's a couple of different models. This is actually the Amati model, which um, has quite high arching here. It's quite a, a fat violin. We're not going to put it on a, on a diet because we like it that way, but it's just a little bit unique like that. Anyway, I think I have talked enough. Thank you for watching and please tell Marco what he should buy down the bottom. As usual, please recommend him to buy all of them. Thank you, bye, 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 bye.